Hello and welcome back to Digital Trends live from CES 2018 right here in Las Vegas. Hi there, my name's Maud Garrett and you are watching live on YouTube. All of the coverage from CES here joining me at the table, Greg Nibbler. Hi there, Greg. Thanks for joining us back here again to talk all things tech. Yes, I am very excited about our interview right now. That's right, because we are going to be talking about wireless power, and this particular device is called the Forever Battery. And to talk to us about it, we have the CEO of Ossia, Mario Obidat. Hi there, Mario. Hi, how are you? Oh, so great. Now, this is technology that is something every single person is adamant to own. Tell us all about the Forever Battery. Well, well Austria is a wireless power company, as, as, as you have mentioned. Uh, we have a technology that is capable of delivering what we call it real wireless power, which is deliverable, delivering significant power at real distance. You know, you, you see some technologies that have the pads and the charging pads, etc. they have to touch we can deliver power up to 30 feet that can power uh, batteries, that can power IoT devices, uh, a lot of low power devices. And uh, among the offerings we have is uh, the Forever battery, uh, which is a AA form factor battery that uh, along with our transmitter can be powered at 30 foot distance uh, without ever having to, cha to charge that battery ever again. So how does this actually look? So you, you have something, it, it looks like an actual AA battery. So That's say right. you've got a device that takes double A's. You plug that into it, and then it is, there's a power unit on a wall, or what are we talking about as far yeah. as? You, you would have a transmitter in the house, think of Wi-Fi. Okay. Just like you have a Wi-Fi router. You have uh, uh, in the home, caught a transmitter, and you have many low power devices one of them could be the AA battery, which has the AA form factor, but inside of it, uh, it has electronics that communicate and receive power from that transmitter. Uh, you can put it in your smoke detector, you can put it in any IoT device, uh, and have power. So this year, it was very exciting, for the third straight time, we have won CES Innovation Award, and this year we won it for the Forever Battery. That must be such an honor because you're saying it's like up against 2,500 at least other companies trying to prove their innovation, yet you've won it three years in a row. Y yes, and this is, for us, this is a great honor. We're very proud of it. A three-peat champion of the Innovation Award. That's There's right. got to be a lot of people that want to take you down, I would imagine. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> we have to continue to compete. We have to continue to innovate. And, 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 and just to give you a sense, that uh, AA Forever battery is just one form factor. Uh, you can have any automotive sensor, you can have any retail IoT device. We can power uh, a, a, a smartphone at a distance. We can power any number of low power devices. The Forever battery is just one of the for many form factors that uh, we, can, we can provide. Well, I want to talk about that, the actual technology behind it. You know, because wireless charging, obviously a huge trend here at CES this year, and it's something that we've always been wanting to see, and now we're seeing some companies break through with actual devices that we can finally right. use. So what, uh, how exactly does it work? How does it transmit the power yeah. to the device? Yeah. The unique aspect to uh, uh, the uh, Kota technology is how focused it is uh, and how efficient it is. So uh, basically you have a transmitter and a receiver. Uh, the transmitter receives a very low power signal uh, the, the receiver transmits to the transmitter a very low power signal that identifies that device where it is. The transmitter receives that beacon signal, we call it, and through a large antenna array, sends back signals based on where it was received from uh, to, the, to the device. So when we deliver the power, we only deliver it to that device Right next to the device, within two, three inches of that device, there's no power. So our ability to focus, our efficiency, is what makes our technology unique versus you know, many others in, 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 in our space. Is the vision for this technology to have one or two devices throughout a house or an apartment to charge all the electric charging needs? Yeah, the, the vision really is like a Wi-Fi. You may have one or two routers in the home, and you will have all your IoT devices. And by the way, our receiver could be integrated 
into a device. It could be integrated into a smartphone. It could be integrated into a camera, into any sensor. Uh, that's why we are working with a number of tier one technology partners who make those devices, who make those sensors, to actually integrate uh, uh, the Kota technology in those devices. Yeah, that's, that is a fascinating way as far as where this technology can go. So right now it's the AA battery. Yes. Forever battery. So if like, say I have something that takes two AA's, do I have two AA's that I get? And, yes. And then plug yes. it in? Okay. Yeah. Um, but talking about going to that next level, what's it going to take to do that? To, to make a cell phone you know, that I can walk around and just have it charging all the time. Right. So I don't you know, lose my cord constantly and have to deal with that. Yeah, it, 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 it's, uh, our business model is to partner with leading manufacturers mm -hmm. in the smartphone space where they can license our technology, integrate it the best way they, they, they know much better than we do how to integrate those technologies into their own devices, and they integrate the technology into the device. Our electronics are very small. You know, it's a small antenna, a small uh, ASIC chip, so it doesn't take much space, it's not expensive, it's, it's very low cost, it's actually, so, and so, our, our technology partners would integrate it into their devices, and you would have the transmitter that powers all those devices. I do have a question about that, though. How easy would it be to convince these huge companies uh, to work alongside you with the technology that makes a lot of their products redundant, in a way? Uh, w well, actually, uh, I think they view it as the next uh, uh, evolution of their technologies. They want it because they want you to be able to use the phone more and to continue to have your smartphone on uh, uh, longer and, and, and use it more. So mm -hmm. it makes for a much better user experience. And they want it because we, the consumer, wants it. Because the <laughs> consumer wants it, exactly. They need to work with us a little bit better, don't they? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm seeing some comments here on YouTube, too, because we are broadcasting live. People just saying it sounds like magic. So <laughs> yeah. they're not sure if they, if they believe it. But I mean, this is a product that Someone's you have out. not believing yeah. it at all. John's not believing that John this is technology not. is real. <laughs> yeah, we Ed's on your side. Yeah, I, I mean, you can go on our website. Uh, and you can see the demos, uh, you can see the uh, technology powering devices at a distance. We, uh, we, we're demoing in our booth here at CES, so come join our booth and take a look and, uh, and we will show you how. Our technology doesn't require line of sight, so actually it works around objects. You know, that actually, uh, that does bring up a question. Just, I know a lot of people are concerned about beaming, you know, mm -hmm. power across mm -hmm. a room. How is, what are the safety concerns with that? Yeah, uh, we have been working with the FCC for the past uh, two or three years. Uh, we actually have filed our first submission to the FCC a week ago uh, for the approval for our first IoT device. Uh, the unique aspect of our technology, how well it focuses and how well it avoids objects inherently is what makes our technology unique. It, it does two things. By being as efficient as it is, it can deliver power exactly to one spot and also it avoids people, it avoids objects, and we have shown demonstrations and our test data in our FCC submissions demonstrates that, and, 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 and in the next, hopefully, near term, you'll hear that we have obtained our certification, so we're looking forward to that. That, that is an accomplishment. Yeah. I mean, that is something that a lot of people have been trying to do for so long. So you said an IoT device, so you're talking about one thing like a central hub that does a lot more, or? Yeah, you, you would have one transmitter okay. in the home, uh, the forever battery. So kind of like a home assistant, only you'd also have your... Yeah, and on, on the receiver side, you could have any number of devices, just like you have 20, 30 devices in your home connected to a Wi-Fi, you'd have the same connected to that power transmitter, and it seamlessly uh, powers your devices. Think about IoT, and they're projecting you're going to have hundreds of billions or a trillion device you can't wire a trillion devices one at a time or hire right. an electrician one at a time. One at a time. So having this technology is, 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 is a great enabler for IoT. Is this a scalable concept where you could take it above just home, home uh, devices and things like that and take it to something bigger? Like planes. just to throw it out like planes or electric Seriously. car, like an electric car, yeah. could you charge yeah. that wirelessly? We're, we're, our technology is focused on low power. Okay. So it, it, when you start talking 10 watts and 20 watts, that becomes a little bit outside. Different. So we're focused on low power, low power devices. 
All right, but it sounds like with the start of this technology, where you can go with it is, you know, opportunities are endless, really. Oh, absolutely. You can think about retail IoT, where every store is going to have those electronic shelf labels that advertise, change price, dynamic uh, price uh, 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 updates. You can think about in automotive, as a matter of fact, I can't disclose it now because the press release is coming out this afternoon, but okay. we have partner with a tier one uh, 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 automotive provider that's in 65% of cars. We have formed a JV to work together with them, utilizing their channels and their relationships with the automotive to integrate uh, Austria technology into dashboards of a car. Way to give the marketing tease. That was pretty, that was, that was that smooth. That was fantastic. Actually, <laughs> people are thinking this, this is too good to be true. Where can people find more about the product or even see a demonstration of this in, in action? So uh, you can certainly go on our website and you'll see videos uh, that we have done and uh, that demonstrate how it works at a distance, how it works at real meaningful power, how it works non light of sight. You can work around objects. You don't have to you know, have a clear line of sight. Uh, and uh, so, so our website is probably one of the best places to, to, to go to. And uh, we're uh, uh, demoing at CES, so stop by our booth, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Aussie booth, and we'll be more than happy to show you and, and all the tricks as, as how the technology works and why it's unique and, and we're the first to really deliver real wireless power. Fantastic, is that Aussie.com? Uh, Austria.com, yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today on Digital Trends. That is amazing. Speaking of websites, if you do want to catch all the action for all the things at CES happening right now, digitaltrends.com forward slash CES. You can get all that information. Thank you so much, Mario. It was absolutely amazing talking to you about this product. Honestly, it sounds mind-blowing and the future is here. It's going to make my life convenient. As soon as you said it will help with the um, smoke detector. <laughs> I could cry yes. happy tears from oh, that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you don't have to wake up at night and climb ladders, yeah, oh, too. We've all yeah. been there. We have all been there. We'll stick around. We've got plenty more action live from CES happening in Las Vegas here. Don't go anywhere.